a homemade flea and tick spray that works. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click the link right below to subscribe. And then you, when you click the link directly in the box below, you can get a copy of my free book. Tula gives it a two paws up. Fleas, ticks, and toxic insecticides. I get a ton of questions about, you know, pet parents like yourself wanting like an alternative that's gonna work. Is there one that's gonna work? Some work better than others. I've tried some. Here's one that I've tried, I've actually found to be fairly effective. So what you guys are gonna need is first, this is Witch Hazel. It's a gentle skin astringent, a uh, great um, base to start with in making any type of skin spray. Secondarily, and primarily for its anti-inflammatory properties, um, is aloe vera juice. This also makes a good combination with witch hazel and also a great base for our spray. Then we're going to be using three essential oils. First, you're going to need lavender oil, 10 drops. You're going to need lemon essential oil, 10 drops. Then last but not least, cedarwood oil. And you're gonna need 20 drops of cedarwood oil. We're starting with the witch hazel. We're starting with half a cup, which is about four tablespoons. So two, four tablespoons of this witch hazel. There's our four tablespoons of this aloe vera juice. So another four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Essential oils. So to begin with, we're using lavender. It has, appears to have some flea resistant properties. Um, it's especially helpful. It's got some anti-inflammatory properties. We're dealing with some of the skin disorders. Also seems to have some antihistamine qualities. 10 drops of the lavender oil. Next, we're using the lemon oil. It's kind of a basis for many of the flea repellent sprays. It's also, I'm also choosing lavender along with lemon oil in that they're far less toxic if they are consumed orally. So 10 drops of lemon, 10 drops of lavender. And then lastly, what we're using is the cedarwood oil. The couple big benefits. First, there's a bunch of research and a few have actually incorporated using the oil coming from some of the cedar trees, cedar wood in particular, found it to be a fairly effective uh, flea and tick repellent. So we're gonna be using 20 drops of this cedar wood oil in this combination. 20, okay. 20 drops of cedar wood, haha. -ha. There has been much discussion about the effectiveness or lack thereof of the essential oils and also big questions around their toxicity. Um, first, a couple points. When you're using the essential oils, so long as you're applying them at less than 2%, our application here is going to be about 1.5%, they're generally considered safe, uh, especially for our dogs. Secondarily too, there is research there, I'm even gonna put a link to uh, a few of the, the CDC where they actually have some suggestions around uh, natural products that are potentially effective for as being a flea and or tick repellent. So there has been some research using a whole variety of natural compounds. No, on, on the most part, they're not gonna be near as effective as that big gun you're gonna get, conventional you know, veterinary medication. But so many of us are looking for an alternative and trying to just use less of this stuff, less of the conventional meds. Also knowing that our dogs and cats are going to groom themselves, I wanted to be using essential oils uh, that aren't, don't have sort of big known toxicities if they are ingested orally. And all three of those fall within the, that category. So we are going to mix up our essential oil, aloe vera, witch hazel combination. You're going to pour it into my recently acquired half a cup spray bottle, fresh from the co-op. Great little thing to have. It's a glass bottle, holds half a cup. So you're gonna to wanna to shake it up well, 
We're gonna really kind of mix those oils in with that aloe and the witch hazel. Then we're gonna lightly mist Tula, just being careful to avoid her face, especially her eyes. gonna use my hand just to work its way in. The witch hazel is also mm, good for your skin. I think it smells kind of nice. Now a lot of people use it as a face wash after. It's also just a nice mild astringent. All right Tula, will this work? I hope so. Hmm, okay. We've got you all like lathered up and you smell kind of nice. You actually smell more lemony, which is probably better than how you did smell earlier. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click right below to subscribe to my channel. And then when you click the link directly in the box below that, you can get a copy of my free book.